Hi, welcome to Joyroot. Whether you are a beginner or an IT professional, it is good to know how an email flows from the external world to Exchange Online. So let us check it out right now. So we here, here Jojo has got an account in gmail.com and he wants to, he compose a mail and wants to send to Murali at m365online.com whose account is in Exchange Online. So he draft a mail, he compose a mail in Gmail ID in his Gmail account and he sent to uh, m365online.com which is in exchange, exchange Online. So let us check how this mail flows from step by step. Every mailbox provider has an email server that is responsible for processing the email. So for the Gmail also has got a mail server which is Google mail server. So this Google mail server is responsible for processing the email. So as Jojo composed the mail here and send that to the exchange online to Murali, what exactly happens? Let us check it out. As soon as Jojo composed and sent the mail from his Gmail account, that mail will be picked up by the message transfer agent and handed over to message submission agent. So once Jojo composed the mail, message transfer agent picked up that mail and handed over to message submission agent. So what are these message transfer agent and message submission agent? These are the services that run on the mail server. In our case, Google mail server, these services are running and this is responsible. This is picking up the mail which is composed by Jojo and transfer that to message submission agent. So the message has reached to message submission agent. Now the SMTP service will come in picture. SMTP service will pick up the email from message submission agent. So the message of message is here right now and the message submission agent, the SMTP service will pick up the message, will pick up the mail from the message submission agent. So the mail has reached to SMTP service. Now SMTP service knows that I need to deliver this email to morally at m365online.com but it doesn't know where this user is. Who is morally? He doesn't have any idea. SMTP service only knows if I find the domain which is m365online.com If I find this domain which is m365online.com I can find out this user also. So it tries to find out the domain first. So how it can find it out? For that SMTP service will go to the DNS and will ask for the domain information to the DNS. So the DNS will come in picture here. So SMTP service will go to the DNS and ask for the domain information from this, this DNS, external DNS. So DNS will consult its own internal service like root server, top-level and domain server and authoritative name service. It will consult to its own domain service, its own internal service and will route the SMTP service to the domain provider. So DNS will ask to its own uh, server, it, its own internal server and it will route to the service provider. Service provider, domain service provider. So, my domain service provider can be GoDaddy ID or any other uh, namespace.com and we have many other service providers. So, it can be any service provider. So, DNS will route that message to SMTP service. It will tell go and ask to the GoDaddy. So, it will come to GoDaddy now. So, the SMTP service has reached the GoDaddy. Now, SMTP service will find out the MS record for this domain from service service provider. As we know, MS record is used to receive emails and it is a, it tells the email server where to route the email for this particular domain. So now the email server knows where it to be where it to be routed because the MS record has the details of the user and uh, where to route. All these details are available with. MS record. So the Google's mail server knows where to be routed. So I repeat, MS record tells the email server where to route the emails from the particular domain. So now the SMTP service will know how it can reach to this domain. Now we have two scenarios. I can point my MS record for this domain to the third party email filter server like Barracuda or Sophos or any other third party email filtering service. 
or I can directly send to exchange online protection. Let us assume that the MX record for this M365 online.com is pointed to a party email filtering server. Let us assume that we are using Barracoda as a third party email filtering server or 40 mail as a third party email server. Now this MS record for m365online.com is pointing to the third party email filtering server. Suppose when we integrate an email filtering server with exchange online protection, we create an inbound connector in exchange online that the mail, the mail from the server, from the SOFO server or whatever, whatever third party email server. And we create one outbound connector and we create one outbound connector that send the email from exchange online to the uh, third party email filtering server. So with the help of MS record, email will be delivered to the third party filtering server, which is Sophos here. And with the help of inbound connector, this email will be routed to exchange online protection. And if the MX record are pointed to the exchange online production, the email will be delivered to EOP directly. If the MS record pointed to exchange online production, if this MS record doesn't point to any third party email filtering server, it is directly pointing exchange online production. It doesn't record an inbound outbound connector. It will directly come to exchange online production. Once the email is delivered to the exchange online production, it goes to multiple email filters that scan it one by one. So the first email filter is nothing but connection filter. The connection filter uh, first run directory based edge blocking. It first run directory based edge blocking, which is nothing but it is checking for this name Murali, whether it is able to find out the name Murali in this tenant. If it is able to find out, it transfer to connection IP, connecting IP, or it send a DR, non delivery report to Google Mail Server. Connecting IP, uh, it verifies from where this mail being sent. In our case, verify the IP address of this Google Mail Server and check whether it is allowed IP or a, uh, it check in the IP allow and block list. We take action on this email as per the configuration. Then the connection filter validate the connection IP address against the reputation list. Here we have IP reputation list. IP reputation list is maintained and updated by Microsoft. This list is a database of good reputation IP addresses. Those are updated on a regular basis. So this IP address list is a database. It is maintained by Microsoft. It has got well reputed list of IP addresses. It is updated on a regular basis. In case if it is not able to find out this IP address from where it is sent from this mail server IP address, it cannot find in the reputation list. What it does, it add a value to the email header that is IPVNLI that indicate the connecting IP address was not found within the IP reputation list. After this connection filter will check the save sender list maintained by the recipient. This save sender list is a junk email settings configured within Outlook or OWA by the end user. If the email passes all this check, it moves to the next filter, which is nothing but Andy malware filter. Andy malware filter scan all incoming and outgoing emails in the exchange online. It scan mainly three major malware category. First one virus, second one spyware, third one ransom. Malware can be an attachment. It scan the mail body and detect the malware inside the attachment or email body. Once it finds something, it that mail moves to quarantine. Email those who are quarantined by anti malware policies can be viewed and released only by the administrator. Let us assume there is no malware in this email or in its attachment, then it email will be scanned against transport rule. It moves to transport mode, next layer which is transport rules. If there is no transport rules in the exchange online that is blocking this email, it will move to the next filter that is advanced threat protection which is ATP in short. ATP atta scans the attachment and link within the incoming emails and it include two security features, safe attachment and safe links. Pause there, it moved to the inbound anti spam. Inbound anti spam policies are set of rules that determine how incoming emails are filtered for the spam. Moreover, like uh, SPF record, DKIM, DMARC, 
all these DNS records are scanned at this level. All the DNS records are scanned at inbound and spam level. Once this is done, it transferred to the mailbox. So once the email is passed from the inbound and spam policies, it is delivered to the mailbox. As soon as the email is delivered to the mailbox, it is scanned against the inbox rule. Those are configured by the end user. And also the mail mailbox forwarding is enabled on the mailbox. The mail will be forwarded to the respective mailbox. Once inbox rules, mailbox forwarding, auto perks, spam, all these are over, the email will be delivered to the inbox. So right now, after all this verification, the mail has reached to the inbox of morally at m365online.com. So it is a, such a long process and highly secured one. So this is the way how mail flow from the external world to exchange online. So we'll meet you in another video. Goodbye.